Hello my friends, in this video I am going to show you my current planner setup for 2021 and I will do a flip through and talk about how I use my planner. This video was requested by you in the comments. This is video one of a series of videos that I am doing as part of the Franklin Planner Love Your Planner event. Right now for a limited time, you can save 20% on all binders and covers with discount promo code LYP Binder. That's LYP, which stands for Love Your Planner, and Binders has an S on it. If you happen to catch this video after the promotion is over, no worries. You can still use my regular discount code, which is Tanya Plans. If we haven't met, hi, my name is Tanya, and this channel is all about how to use paper planners so you can live life to the fullest. Some of my recent videos include how to plan daily, how to use the notes pages in your planner, and how to use the weekly compass. So please hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already so you won't miss another exciting video. And I will include a playlist to those videos at the end of this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. This is my Kobe Simulated Leather Zippered Binder and I am obsessed with this binder. It is absolutely beautiful and functional and I love that it's lightweight. Now this looks like denim, but it's not. It looks like a herringbone pattern pattern but when you touch it this is a wipeable surface and as you can see here there's the brown color there and this is a zippered binder I love the zipper because when I throw this in my tote bag I don't have to worry about anything falling out of my binder so since we're talking about binders let me just show you some of the other binders that I have that I absolutely love this is my Anna leather snap binder so I got a snap here and this is in the color sailor blue but it looks purple in some light this binder has a ton of organization and I just love the quality of the Anna binders this is a similar Anna leather binder and it is in the onyx color and it is so professional looking and I call this my sexy binder now those two binders I just showed you are ring bound binders meaning that they have rings in them but if you do not use rings you can use a cover like this and this is the Anna cover in the carmine red color it is gorgeous and has loads of organization look at the zippers and the card slots there so let's get back to this planner flip through I'm going to open her up now this binder has two pin loops and on the back of the pin loops is elastic so it can accommodate larger and smaller ink pens. The type of pens I am using are cross pens which can be found on the Franklin Planner website as well. This is my favorite pen. This is called the Botanica pen. Look how gorgeous the detailing is on this pen. And this design is called Daylily and both of these pens are rollerball pens. Now this pen pen is called the Wanderlust pen. Wanderlust means strong desire to travel and this is in the color of Malta. One pen I have a 0.7 millimeter pen refill in it and the other pen is 0.5 millimeters. In the front cover here there is the Franklin Covey name embossed right there and then you have five card slot holders and then you have two pockets here. So what I have in the front cover are these sticky notes and I like these because they lay flat and and it's like minimal impact here in the front cover of my binder and when you open it up you have different size post-it notes with sticky stuff on the back and also I have an Apple gift card that someone gave me for my birthday. The Kobe binder comes with two black page lifters and they help protect your planner pages from getting frayed when you're opening and closing your binder. This is my Gingham Gardens Planner Love Pocket Divider. I just love this design and I think it's just so pretty. And here it says the word confidence, but it's like a blue plaid here and a nice flower design there. And on the back of the pocket divider, it says big ideas have small beginnings. Next, Next here I printed off my favorite Bible verse for inspiration. My favorite Bible verse is Ecclesiastics 3 which is called a time for everything. The great thing about ring bound planners is that you can put anything you want in the planner. I printed this Bible verse from the internet and used the Franklin Covey hole puncher to punch holes in it. Next I have a copy of the Benjamin Franklin 13 virtues which I got as a free download from the FranklinPlanner.com website as I was taking their planner course. Next I have 
a beautiful life ring bound project planning pages and I love these project planning pages because if there is something that you want to get done and you know you need like a separate task list for that these project planning pages are great for that I want to make a shadow box I was given some items from my grandmother who passed away and I wanted to take a collection they're actually like brooches and I want to make a shadow box out of those brooches so I filled out this project planning page so I can make sure I get the materials that I need and think about how I want to pull that project together I have some other project planning pages sheets in here as well of some other projects I want to work on next I have some stickers I believe these stickers are from the coral sticker pack but I like that there are circles here and some of the stickers are foiled which is kind of neat that um, I like that little shimmery look in my planner sometimes but the dots can be used to bullet point important things in your planner if you would like there are also some smaller triangles here next is my automobile information sheet and I covered up some of my private information at the top here because I had my license plate number up here but this is where I keep track of my oil changes when the last time I had my battery replaced when my tires were replaced and different automobile information I have an older car and I am very adamant about keeping up the maintenance on it because I definitely don't want to buy a new car and have a car payment and I indicate the date that I got work done to the car and I also indicate the mileage at the time that I got the work done so I can always look here at a glance to see the work that I've had done in the past to my vehicle next I have a meal planning sheet here this is a nice way if you want to plan your meals for the week you have the days of the week listed over here and then you can include your shopping list on this side this meal planning sheet was included in the foodie pack I did a separate video on the foodie pack which I will include in the playlist at the end of this video so that way if you're interested in the videos that I am referencing in this video you don't have to go searching for them all of the videos will be in a playlist at the end of this video so now we're getting into our monthly planning pages and this is where you're going to see a month across two pages but on the front of each monthly planner spread you have a monthly index page and this works as a table of contents for your planner I use a daily planner as well as a weekly one and so if I'm looking for important information I don't want to have to go flipping through a whole bunch of pages to find that information I record important information that I may want to refer to later here on the monthly index page and so when I want to find it I can simply find it here and refer to those notes on my planner page but it works really well and it is a quick way to find information in your planner but you get one of these at the beginning of each month in your monthly spread as well as on your daily planner pages so I can see here that on July 1st I had a physical and I wrote some notes about the physical but if I wanted to refer to those notes I can go to my daily planner page on 7-1 and refer to the note where I've written the one in parentheses next to that note so here is the monthly spread it is a month spread across two pages and let me just move this out the way I'll get to the weekly compass in a second so this is a month spread across two pages this is a great way to see what you have coming up for the month so when people ask me if I'm available or when I have time to do something I can always turn to my monthly spreads and be able to see a day that I am open and have nothing going on here is a magnetic page clip and I use these to point to the week I'm on so when I open up this page I'm not trying to figure out what day I'm on I at least know that I'm on this week because this is where my magnetic clip is and the magnetic clip is really strong do you hear that snap so these are really good quality magnetic clips so I am using the Monticello daily and weekly planner and with the Monticello the pages are white I like a white background without a lot of images it's nice it's simple it's clean it has light gray lines to help keep your handwriting straight when you write in the blocks the planner uses navy blue as an accent and it's like a navy blue marble design alongside of where the rings are and on the planner tabs and on the monthly tabs here as you can see they are laminated so they can hold up to heavy use the stickers that you see here are part of and I, I love these stickers they are the Franklin planner everyday stickers and I like these stickers because they're actually functional so on the monthly spread it is a month spread across two pages over here to the right you have a column where you can write in notes here I have a Teresa Collins sticker here and I wrote in there keep going which is some inspiration for myself notice how it draws attention to something and that's what stickers can be used for 
So here I drew attention that I have a doctor's appointment. I have a physical. On this day also, I had a team meeting at work and so on and so forth. I use the monthly spread to remind me when things are due for work. I use it to remind me of birthdays, other people's doctor's appointments, when I have to give my dog her heartworm medicine, when my coworker is off, and when we have dentist appointments. So on the back of the monthly calendars is your master task list. Your master task list is used when you have things that are due for the month that are non-date specific. An example of how I use the master task list is here where I wrote a note that I got to get my car inspected this month. I don't know when I'm going to get it inspected, but it is a reminder that it needs to be done that month. So all of the monthly tabs are the same. So for each month, you get your two page monthly spread, your master task list, and your monthly index page. And these are on harder cardstock, so it can hold up to heavier use. So now I'm gonna show you what I have written on my weekly compass. Now again, I did a separate video on the weekly compass and I don't wanna make this video too long, but I do wanna briefly show you what I have written on here. At the top here, where it says sharpen the saw, which means to enhance and improve yourself, for physical, I have that I plan to work out five days this week. For social and emotional well-being, I plan to call a friend. For mental well-being, I plan to medicate three times a week. And for spiritual well-being, I plan to read a Bible verse and journal about it. And down at the bottom part of the weekly compass are my roles. As my role as wife, I plan to help prepare for a funeral that we're going to out of town. As a role for mother, I plan to watch for the children's reaction to the vaccine that they recently got. For the role as sister. I need to check on how my sisters are doing. Um, one of them recently had surgery. And for my role at work as a financial systems advisor, I need to complete 10 integrated tests this week. We're upgrading to a new ERP system, so I have some testing to do with that. And as a role as daughter, I need to make sure that I reach out to my mom at least three times this week. Now I would like to show you an example of my daily planner spread. So these are my daily planner pages. It is a day on one page in the month. Cello. This is a whole day and this is a whole day. What I like to do is do some color coding with highlighters. In yellow are my work related items, in pink are family related items, and in blue are personal items. So the way this planner is, at the top you have your date, your day of the week. Sometimes you have the moon phase or a holiday here. You have the planning symbols here. Up here is the current month that you are on so you can see the whole calendar here without flipping back and forth to your monthly calendar pages. Then you have the prior month in the future month. So the planner pages are divided like this. You have a prioritized daily task list. Then you have an appointment schedule over here. And at the bottom, there is a section for daily notes. And that repeats on each day. So what I like to do is take my prioritized daily task list and divide it into two sections, a personal section and a work section. That way, while I am working, my eyes can go to this section. And I know that these are the items that I need to do for work. I haven't prioritized them yet or checked anything off because I was just setting this up. Over here, I like to write in at the top of the appointment schedule items that are going on all day, like someone's birthday, like I did here. Right here is an example of me filling in a surgery that my sister is having. It is to serve as a reminder for me to follow up with her. And that's what I like about the planner too. I feel it makes me a better person because I am able to remember to follow up with friends and loved ones when they have certain things going on in their lives. In the bottom section here, I write in notes and little things that I think about like for example I wrote a note that I deposited $40 in my daughter's college fund and I have a little section here for kids I call them kids but really I have two teenagers in the home and I put reminders to myself here and over here on this side is the next day where I wrote some things that I want to do for that day here I was writing out notes because I plan to board my dog while we take a quick vacation and I was comparing the different plans here and if I would be saving any money or not and how much the difference is between each boarding plan. Here I use a little sticker to remind me of something that I need to do. Stickers like these can be found in the So Many Planner Stickers booklet. 
So now I would like to show you a weekly spread. I have both a daily spread and a weekly spread in my planner. I like to plan my week. When I do my weekly planning, it is a good way to see what's coming up for the week, to see my whole week at a glance. Do I need to be somewhere? Do the children need to be somewhere? This is how I pull it all together. Because when I look at my daily pages, I like that they break up my days into manageable chunks, but I also need to see my week at a glance. For an example of how my weekly spread looks. This is a week spread across two pages and you have a column for each day of the week. You have a column for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth. Saturday and Sunday shares a column and at the bottom here, it has a daily task list. So let me show you a spread that is not written over by me. So this is how the spread typically looks and at the bottom of each day, you can write a list of daily tasks that you may need to accomplish. I chose to cover up those daily tasks because I use each of these sections to plan and things that I want to do for the week in certain areas. So I will show you that in a moment. So let me just show you how this is laid out. At the top, you have the week that you're on up here and the number of the week here. At the top, you have the current month you are on and the next month. And then you have a quote and then you have the week here and the year as well. The times on this calendar goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with space at the bottom and at the top. If you want to write in additional times, you can. I write in things like my work schedule, the times that I work that week. I put in things that I plan to do with the kids. I put in things that I plan to do for work. I highlight when I'm supposed to be at a meeting. So as you can see here, I kind of drew this box around this. I have a meeting that day. I know it's work related because it's in yellow. And I have some other things here that I plan to get done on Tuesday here. I have reminders here uh, for the kids. I need to remind my kids of stuff constantly. So I want them to walk the dog every other day so I put that there I just try to put a little inspirational stuff for myself I keep up with my husband's schedule on here and I keep up with my daughter's schedules and places that she needs to be. At the bottom, what I've done is I've covered up that daily task part and I divide these into different sections. So here is a social media section where I keep up with the numbers. So here I keep up with my stats. Currently on YouTube, that's how many followers I have. Um, I'm also on Instagram if you didn't know. You can follow me at Tanya underscore plans and there I take pictures of my different planner spreads. So if you're looking for just ideas and you want to see how other people fill out their planner, please feel free to follow me there. Please be sure to look for Tanya underscore plans on Instagram. And those are the followers that I have. I'm also on Facebook. Look for Tanya plans, Franklin Covey blogger. These are things that I would like to do for my home this week. I want to do some caulking around the house. These are some YouTube things that I need to do. Like I'll put here if I need to finish editing a video. These are things that I need to do for the two teams teenagers I have in my home and some other things that I need to accomplish. Over here I have a sticker now. Some of you ask me how can you track things in your planner that you want to track each day. One way you can do it is you can use these habit tracker stickers and I used one here. I uh, tend to swell up when I eat salty foods so I'm trying to do a little challenge this week and remind myself not to eat salt this week. So when I don't eat salt I can just mark it off because the days of the week are in circles down here. So this habit tracker sticker, these are the habit tracker planner stickers that I got. And it comes in a pack like this. And they are reward stickers. And I think what it includes, yeah, 52 weeks. So you have enough for a whole year of tracker stickers if you want to use this in your planner to track certain habits. Now with the weekly planner, the format is like this. You have the week across two pages. And then you get a whole page for weekly notes. And then you get a whole page for weekly tasks. And then it just starts over again where you see the next week. At the end of the planner, I have future planning pages so I can plan out for 2022 if I want. So let's say you know how you, you schedule your dentist appointments and they're every six months. Well, sometimes they fall in the next year. That's not in your planner. You can use your future planning calendars that come with the planners. These come with both the Monticello weekly planner and the Monticello day on one page planner. It is a month on one page where you can write in things out in the future. And then you can still write in even more items way out in the future 
future. I have future planning pages for 2023, 2024, 2025, and 2026. And this is formatted where it's a whole year on one page. Now, this is my everyday carry planner. Sometimes you'll see that abbreviated as EDC. EDC means everyday carry. So I try to keep what's in here to a minimum because this is what I carry with me every day. I have other binders where I have other forms in, my goals, all those type of things. I have that in another binder right now because I'm trying to keep this light for my everyday carry. And with that said, I only have one tab divider in here. I did a video on how to make these clear planner dividers if you like the way that looks. I have a finance section in my planner. I probably won't show you my finances, but I do keep those in here where I have typed up in Excel a budget for myself for the month, and that is here. And at the end here, I have a, another black page lifter. These are planner love notebooks, and I use this notebook to keep work-related notes in. So if I am on a work-related phone call or I'm attending a meeting, I write all my work notes in here. Right now, we're going through an implementation. I thought it would be helpful to have everything in this notebook. I really like these notebooks. This is another pack of three. They're called the Planner Love. And with these notebooks, and that's, that's how one of them looks there. With these notebooks, notice it is stitched. Stitched notebooks are great because they actually will lie flat and you can continue to write all the way out to the edge of the notebook. They're really slim too. You can slip them in the front and back pockets of your planner. And here's just a printout. I printed out some tickets so that I have have right there. Please let me know in the comments if you have any of the items that I've shown in this video. I would love to know what you think about them. And as promised, here on the screen, if you're watching from the YouTube platform, you will see it. I will have a playlist here so that you can see all of the videos that I have referenced in this video. Please don't forget to like this video. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.